Okay. All right, let's do this. So we're going to go for a 15 minute little desk workout to give you yourself. I was uh, shooting food videos earlier today. If you saw a story on uh, Instagram and Facebook. So I was already set up with lights in the kitchen and I thought it's fine. It's the same thing. So because I, we do these workouts either at your desk or at the counter. If you have my in life app, you know that there are tons of workouts for regular clothes at your kitchen counter at your desk. You see, I am wearing my boots. I am not in anything special. And what I'm really trying to do with like America in general is get us out of this idea that a workout means I have to put on, you know, my workout clothes. I have to put on sneakers. I have to drive myself to a gym. No, it's not that. Exercise is about an active lifestyle. It's standing and walking more each day and with strategic workouts kind of put in between. And if days you can get a longer workout and something a little more traditional, fantastic. You know, I love it. That's my background, but some days this is all I have time for. And I want you to understand it's the consistency that matters and even just 10 or 15 minutes to strengthen your muscles and release them and stretch them out so that your bones are aligned are, is it really, really works. It's super effective at both getting you in shape and keeping you in shape. Okay. So let's do this. So wherever you're at, at your desk, let's just start by, we're going to end up releasing your neck here. Let's take a big inhale and want you to squeeze the shoulder blades and make sure your shoulders aren't hunched up, pull them down. You're using these muscles, your lats in the back here to pull the shoulder blades down, keep this space. And we're gonna go inhale, drop your head, exhale, and you're gonna open up just a little bit. Keep your abs deep, inhale, drop your head, exhale. So we're opening up in the upper body here, in the upper back, and now in the chest. And inhale, stretch out between the shoulder blades, exhale, squeeze between the shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale. Let's go two more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Roll the shoulders back and down. We're going to add your legs into this just a little bit. Good. So it's the knees are just going to start to get a little energy in them, a little blood flow before we start to use your legs. Let's go four more. Inhale, exhale. Three, two, one. You're just going to take a step back and pull your heel all the way down and then step back in step back pull your heel all the way down you'll feel that nice stretch we're going to add arms into it so take your arms up behind your head and then back out and take them up behind your head and then back out so here we go it's inhale here's your exhale inhale stretch and exhale so these chest stretches are going to release the back of your neck believe it or not so that's part of what we're doing here and you feel that calf stretch and that really will help us warm up the legs and get ready for some of this work we're gonna do right here. Let's go four more. Should feel better already, right? Three. So we're about one minute in. Don't you feel different from where you were just a minute ago? Even if this was all you did and then you just got on with your day. Oh, look at that, you're in a different place. You're ready to take on your challenges. If you are having a stressful moment, maybe you already don't feel so stressed. Your knees are slightly bent here. Find your desk or your counter, hold here. Try to drop your chest through, keep your knees bent. I just want you to reach more with one hand and then reach more with the other hand. So we're stretching out in the sides, right? We're creating space between the bottom rib and the top of the hip and we're stretching our chest at the same time. I'm kind of leaning side to side with my legs. Good, and then just come on up and let's go side to side with your legs, pull your hips back. My knees are staying a little bit bent. I'm pulling my hips back. I'm nice and easy here. Let's inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale and exhale. Four more. Four. Not too much. Three. I'm not being really big about this. Two. Good. One more. Good. We're going to start with squats. So we're going to go nice and easy down and up. So pull the hips way back. That protects your knees, right? So even people with knee problems can generally do this. Inhale, exhale. And if you're you know, struggling with your knees a little bit, just lower the range of motion to what you can do and focus on the engagement, that wrapping sensation in your legs. So every time you come up, I want you to think of saran wrap wrapping around your legs, tightening them up, engaging these glutes in the back, ready? So we're gonna go 10 more, pull the arms back, nine, good. Eight, so we're using these muscles in your back, 
seven, squeezing the shoulder blades, six, by activating between the shoulder blades, we're gonna help with your posture all day, especially if you're at your desk and you're typing or you're driving or you're just looking at your phone, all these things get us out of alignment and they actually reduce our energy flow, right? Okay, so now we're gonna lift the leg out to the side. So facing your desk, hanging on, you're gonna do that squat back. You're gonna lift your leg out to the side. It's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, keep going, inhale, exhale. Good, let's go four more sets. Four, out to the side. Three, keep your knee facing your counter or your desk. One, good, you're gonna lift this leg behind you. Flex your foot and lift it up and down. Now, if you can, deepen your abdominals, balance here, hover your hand. So your knee is pointing toward the floor. Your knee is slightly bent and we're working the glute muscle here. And we're also stretching out this hip flexor. The hip flexor gets really tight as you sit and that's what causes lower back pain actually. Your hamstrings being tight and your hip flexor being tight. So we're working on one of them right now. Keep your abs in. You feel this is an ab exercise. If you can balance, not only are you working your core, your glute, you're stretching this out, but you are changing your brain. Your brain cannot be stressed out while it's focusing on this balance move with breath and a coordinated movement. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Trying for 20 here, ready? So balance if you can, find it. Shoulders back and down, your abs are deep. The knee is slightly bent, we're lifting and lowering. The knee is pointing to the floor. Good, breathe. Especially if you're a runner or you work out, it's really great to just take some time to work on balance, which increases core stability. Also, it helps to stretch out that hip flexor that gets so tight, whether you're a cycler or you bike or you're just sitting all day. Good, let's go five more wherever we're at. How you doing with this? Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, really good. All right, we're gonna do cross backs. So facing your desk, you can hang on. You're gonna cross your leg back. Knees are, and toes are open. Knees and toes are going open. So this is really important because we're gonna work our inner thigh and our outer thigh. We're gonna balance it, right? So just cross behind and come up. Remember, if you pull your tush back, you're gonna protect your knees. Now, if your knees are warmed up enough, you can stay pretty tall and go down and up with this. You decide what's right for you. If you need to, just pull the knees back and take that leg behind you, right? So two ways to kind of do this, cross back. Now, if you're feeling it, you're okay. Go all the way down and touch your floor and then give me a reach up. Inhale, so this will be a high intensity interval. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Good, now every time you come up, drive the heel into the floor so that you activate your inner thigh. Deep abdominals, wherever you're at with this, try to bring the chest forward and come back up. Good. Four more, we're working the posture muscles in the back now, three, as well as the entire leg, two, and one rest, good. Give yourself a rest, breathe. Arms up, just hang from one hand from the ceiling like you're hanging. Give yourself a moment, let that heart rate come down a little bit. We don't wanna be a sweaty mess at your desk. Good, switch, here we go. Reach it up, breathe. How are you feeling? So you probably feel excellent already right? Feeling really good right now. Okay, we're going to do an abdominal standing. Hands behind your head. You're just going to cross and cross. So keep your abs really deep. You're trying to bring your knee to your elbow, but here's the thing. Do you see how I'm leading with my foot? That's the important part. I'm not doing this, which you can feel tightens up in there. We just loosened it up. I'm lifting my foot off the floor. It's almost like I'm trying to bring my foot to my elbow, right? Almost like you're trying to bring the inside of your foot. Do you feel how that feels totally different? That's working the lowest of the low abdominals to help you lift that leg. As long as you keep the knee out to the side, you try to lift with the foot, super effective standing abdominal workout. And what are we doing? We're generating energy right now, right? So you don't feel overwhelmed, you feel yourself working, but 
Boy, do you feel energized physically and mentally. Let's go two more and one more. Good. And rest. Excellent. Last thing right here. Let's do some push ups. So on your toes, just come down. You're going to hold three, two, one. Press up. Let's do it again. Here we go. Inhale. Three, two, one. Press up. Remember, a push up looks like this. Your elbows are lower than your shoulders. It's a stretch. And then push up and you work the tricep, the back of the arm. Here we go. Inhale. Three, two, one. Back up. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, hold. Three, two, one. We're going to add a leg. So it's going to be down. Lift your leg. Lift your leg. So we're switching each time. Good. Hang on. Let's go. That's six. We're going to 10, seven, eight. Keep your hips forward. Nine, 10. Rest. Let's stretch it out. Pull your hips to one side and then pull them to the other side. So it's like you're wagging your tail. You're going to feel a nice stretch in the back of the legs. Keep the knees bent. Okay, let's work those hamstrings, the back of the legs. So keeping the knees bent, we're going to stand tall and then come back. So it's like down dog from yoga, but it's at your desk or at your counter. Good. So you're trying to drop your chest through your arms and then we squeeze to lift up. And let's go eight. Exhale, seven, exhale, six, exhale, five, exhale, four more, exhale, three, exhale, two, and last one. Good, let's rest. Okay, wherever you're at, let's have a seat and let's just do some release right here. So take your ankle across your knee. And all we're going to do is pull the chest forward, breathe, and exhale round the back. And again, so you're pressing the chest forward and then rounding the back. So we're not pushing down on that knee. We're just moving our spine. And that's going to shift our pelvis a bit and create a nice, natural, easy stretch where we're not overstretching. Switch. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And rest good. And the last thing is we're going to just do a little mermaid stretch. So just push down into your chair a little bit. Keep this open so my elbow is bent. And switch. Good. And switch. And switch. And two more. Last one, and here's your last big exercise for the day. It's a modified camel pose from yoga. Turn your palms, uh, your fingertips forward, put your palms down on the chair, and let's lift up. Inhale, immediately energizing. Exhale, let go. Again, inhale. Exhale, let go. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. You should feel great. Okay. I hope you feel excellent and I hope you're ready to take on the rest of the day.